Welcome back, ladies, to the Grown Women's Table. Hey, 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 it's your girl, Lori. Hope you guys are having a great day. Y'all, we're going to do some empties and some faves. So if you want to see what I've used and what I've been loving, you know what you need to do, right? Keep on watching. All right, y'all. We have my custom-made It's Lori's Life empties bag that was created by Sonetta Crispin. You guys definitely go check out her channel. And y'all, we're going to get into this. I don't know if you guys are really loving empties or not. I still kind of like them because I like to know what people are using. So we're going to get into it. Um, the first thing I have is some Bath and Body Works. And it is the Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel. Y'all, this smells so good. If you like a sweet apple that reminds you literally of the candy apple we used to eat when we were kids. This right here. Is it and it smells so good I'm just grabbing stuff and then we have my Bath and Body Works y'all know my favorite scent is champagne toast I love champagne toast and this was the body wash I got a little box so if you hear the little drops it's the box now this right here um this is a mango Jamaican mango mango and lime locking cream y'all see that I have this as an empty because I use this on my husband's hair as well as my nephew's hair. And it works. So, I just threw it in the bag. Threw it in the bag. Okay, anyway. The next thing I have is um, Moose Death. It's a foam. And you guys, I really enjoyed this. It's a nice mousse. Um, I used it for my wash and go. So, it's all gone. Would I repurchase this? Yes, I would. So, we have two main and tail products. One is the um, Tropical Moringa Sealing Cream. And the other one is the Daily Moisturizer and Seal It. Um, out of these two, this one is the one that I will repurchase. First of all, I feel like it moisturizes my hair, hydrates my hair. And then I also feel like it um, has a smell that smells so good. This one will get the job done, but I feel like this one is better. Then I had the Sephora Grapefruit, the little face wash. These right here. I do like these. Um, my girl Lala hit me on to these. And I think they were like, what? I think I paid $3. These are really good, especially if you are a content creator. Um, and you putting makeup on and off. And you need to take the makeup off quickly. And yeah, these are good. If you see me looking up, you guys, I'm sorry. I have a new monitor. And so I have to get used to looking back at the camera and not at the monitor. So work with your girl. All right, the next thing I have is another body wash from Bath & Body Works. And it is the Champagne Apples and Honey. It smells good. I do like it. Um... Yeah, it's not as sweet as the country apple, but you definitely can still smell the apple. And it's a good smelling scent. I would repurchase. I have right here, this is the Taraji Pinson. Taraji Pink. What's her name? Taraji Pinson. Princeton. Taraji. Yeah, I know. Cookie. Um, this is her line, the Ultra Chill. And this is the Energizing and Cooling Serum. Y'all. Yeah bag this oh this is like a supposed to be like a scalp thing and i love the way that it's made and they also have a shampoo that's made just like that and when i tell you it gets down in there and you can feel it oh it feels so good i would most definitely repurchase and i found them at tdmx we have the tgin and this is the miracle cpr this is the protein one you know they have the Honey Miracle one that I love. And this one is the protein one. I definitely like it and I would repurchase it. So like when you're washing your hair, you don't want to always just be, first of all, you don't want to put a lot of protein in it. But you want to kind of go moisturizer, deep conditioner a couple of times, then throw you in a protein deep conditioner to balance it out. Um, we have Summer Mimosas. Y'all. Smells so good. Like... I don't tow up the handle. Yeah, this is the body wash. It smells amazing. And can you still find this one? I think you can still find this one. If you find this one, um, what it says, it has shea butter, coconut oil, 
what are the notes? Bright bubble champagne. It's a sister. So y'all already know I love me a sister scent. Then we have this Carol's Daughter Hair, hair Milk. Um, it was a, a styling foam, y'all. It's a mousse. It, um, it was okay. It was all right. Then we have the TGIN Sweet Honey Hair Mask. Y'all know I love this stuff. Oh, this is so good, especially as a leave-in. It, it, it makes your hair feel so good. You guys know I love TGIN, so this is one of my favorite products from them as well. All right, we have the Black Cherry Merlot. This is the body cream. Y'all, let me tell you, if you want your whole house to have a strong cherry scent, the candle in this scent smells amazing. The, this is a scent that will last, that when you walk out the room and you go back in, you're going to smell it. This is a very strong scent, but it smells amazing. I really love it in the candle form, but I like it in the body wash as well. Well, this is the lotion. And this is the black cherry. This is the body wash that go with that. So, All right, you guys. I have um, As I Am TGIN Coconut Co Wash. Baby, if you ain't down with this, what? This is an oldie but goodie right here. And y'all, I'm going to see if I can smell it still. Oh, the smell is so good. If you so, I know some people don't do co washes. I believe in co washes, and this is my favorite co wash of all times. Of all times, I love this co wash. The as I am. Now let me tell y'all why I have so many body products in here because your girl was like, you know what? I'm gonna use up all my body products from Bath and Body Works before I buy any more. And I started just, you know, as I used them, start collecting them. It kind of made me feel good, like I was accomplishing something. But I still failed because I still kept buying new ones. But whatever. All right, this right here is a grapefruit breeze shower gel. This is one of the ones, you know how Bath & Body Works do. When they have stuff that's good, for whatever reason, they decide to retire it. And then a couple of, you know, once a year, you can get it. But this grapefruit one smells amazing. Now, this one right here, I need y'all help. This is the sleep one, but it's the lavender calomel one. I can't, I don't think they make this one. All my Bath & Body Work buffs, I know y'all out there. Where can I get this at? Do you got something I can buy from you? You got some left over in your stash? I want this one right here. When I tell you, I hate to throw the bottle away. It smells so good. It's really one of them scents that when you use it, I only use it at nighttime because it really does relax me. And they have other ones with the lavender and this and the calamine and that, but they don't have this these two together. So help your girl out. All right, y'all, I'm still digging. We got another champagne toast. It looks like this is a Bath and Body Works empty, don't it? But, you know, this is what I got empty, so. Let me move this box up here. I mean, bag up here. I got some other stuff in here, too. Oh, I did use all of these. These are the Nature's Trust Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. I used all of these. Um, do I feel like, I do feel like it kind of suppressed my appetite and, um, I'm definitely going to purchase some more. I'm most definitely going to purchase some more of these. All right. We got a, um, hand soap from Bath and Body Works that was in my bathroom and it's champagne toast. Y'all know that's my scent I love. And this is the Taraji P. Hanson, Taraji P. Hanson. See, I figured the name out y'all. This one right here, I think was the, the shampoo. I can't even read. I mean, the letters is all written off. I mean, wiped off. So, I'm almost positive this is the shampoo because I know I bought a shampoo. Hold on, maybe not. No, because the shampoo is much bigger. So this must be another one of the scout ones. This is the shampoo that I already have a backup of. I have one in my shower and one of it's a backup. So this must be the the scout one. Told y'all I liked it. Yeah, we used up a whole Pat McGrath, and this one is. Y'all know I need to put on some glasses. 
I know it's Divine Rose. I know that's what it is. I already know. Yep, it's a Divine Rose lip gloss. Y'all, I used the whole thing up. All gone. She all gone. And then my Pat McGrath, the under eye powder, all gone. Now, I really do like this. But she is so fragile, y'all. I promise you, she fell on the floor. And I have carpet. And it broke. And then every time I opened it up, it was getting all over the place. Um... So I don't know if I would repurchase it, not because it's not a good product, but because it was just too fragile. And I saw a lot of people say theirs broke. So mine wasn't the only one. So, but if you, if you want to take your chance, it is a very, very good under eye product. It blurs, girl, it blurs it. Let me tell you. Okay. This is the, um, Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizing Cream. Y'all, you can see I used all of that. When I tell you, I'm not a big banana scent type person. I don't like bananas. But when I tell you this moisturizer feels amazing on your skin, and I would leave it sitting right here on my desk. So sometimes, like if I just feel like, you know, before I put my makeup on, I just wanted to add an extra layer of moisturizer. It's thin enough. It wasn't super duper thick and heavy. So I really, really like this. And then I have two of the benefits, um, one pre precisely my brow, and this one is the Goo Proof Brow Pencil. I like the precisely my brow better because it's thin, but I, you know, I'll buy this one on sale. I most definitely will repurchase this one. Y'all, I feel like I keep looking up when I need to be looking at y'all. Let me know. Well, I'll know when I edit it, but I'm going to get there, y'all. I'm going to get there. Okay, this is just fingernail polish stuff. This is the OPI Infinity Shine 3. This is the top coat. Um, this one right here is also an OPI top coat. This one right here is the Nail Envy base coat. Y'all know I love this base coat. And I think this is another top coat that it just ain't right no more. So I'm throwing it away. Oh, this is oh this is the this is the uh, another base coat of OPI. We are almost done, y'all. Okay, I had got this mask from L'Oreal. It was a just a pure mask, and um, it was a clay mask. I really did enjoy this mask. So if you see this mask on sale, let me show you what it looks like. If you see this mask on sale, I would say pick it up. This was a nice mask. I enjoyed this mask. I really did. Oh, this was my Origin Original Skin. This was mask right here. It was like a little sample one. I use it as a travel one. I think you can buy them in all their different types of masks they have in this size. It's perfect for traveling, especially like if you know you're going to be gone for like four or five days and you want to make sure you get a mask in in between. It was perfect. You could actually get two masks out of this one little thing. Oh, here goes something too. My salted margarita from um, Array of Sunshine Candles. These are the melts. Y'all. Y'all know that's my scent. And I think I'm almost done. Yep. And I have a body spray. I might as well put that in here. From Array of Sunshine. I'm almost done. When I tell y'all... This is my favorite scent. I don't even need to spray that much, but oh my God. Oh, y'all, this is my favorite scent. My favorite, like my favorite. What else I got? What else we got? Oh, I did. What was this? This was another, I like a little recipe. This was that watermelon, um, it don't got a name on it no more. But you guys know it's the... Oh, it's on the front. It's the Watermelon Gold Sleeping Mask. Let me show you. Y'all see that? Oh, first of all, I'm not even throwing this away because this is too cute. I'm going to wash it out. And when I travel, yes, I'm going to use it for something. Because, honey, this is cute. But when I tell you this was one of my favorite sleeping masks because sometimes, you know... You wash your face and you want to just lay right down. You want to lay down and go to sleep. But when you're using like those sleeping masks, then you have to wait for it to kind of sit in and get on your face and not be slipping and sliding all over your pillow. 
But to me, this one absorbed into my skin so quickly. That's what I love about it. And I most definitely will be repurchasing this. And I think that is it. Oh, I had some Clinique Take the Day Way Whites. They were nice. I had got them from TJ Maxx for like 10 bucks. I would repurchase again. Cause y'all know my favorite ones are gone. Oh, let me show you this too. Cause it's basically empty. Hold on, something in my eye. Ooh, y'all, this hair was all in my eyeball. Um, Champagne toast, y'all know I love it. And it's only a, just this little bit. I'm gonna use this tomorrow so I can throw it away. But those are my empties. Now, let me show you some things that, y'all know your girl been MIA. So, it's some stuff that came out, some stuff that's old, some stuff that's newer, that I have been just loving. So, let me show you what I've been loving. First of all, since we've been doing basically a bath and body works empty, that's what it seems like. But my new favorite scent, and of course, it's gone, the Summer Medley. Y'all, I have everything in this line, even the perfume. I'm really looking for the perfume. When I tell you, oh, it smells so good. What are the notes on here? Do they have the notes on the back of here? It says golden honeydew bronze vanilla. So it's like a honey and vanilla scent. Oh, y'all. Mm. Ooh, I love it. And then of course they're discontinuing it. So, but I, I got some I got some backups. Don't worry. Now, also for fragrance, you guys, this right here is my jam. I've been loving this. This is the um, Carol Herrera Very Good Girl Glam scent. It's a sweet scent. It's like, let me see. Hold on. Y'all, I like sweet scents. Oh. Yes, very sweet. Not childish like sweet, but it is sweet. I don't know the notes. I did a video. I think I talked about it in a um, in a, a live. So I don't know the notes. It just smells good. It smells good. Go get you some. Now, I also have the Gucci primer. Now, when the Gucci primer came out, I did not get it. I was gifted this. And y'all. The hype is real. If you like that serum type feel, it's different from my all time. Yeah, y'all know I love the Tasha. You know I love that. But this gives me skincare like it makes it just. I don't know. I can't even describe what it gives me. But what it's giving me, I'm loving. And when I put it on my face, my face just feels like I've done something. What I've done, I don't know. But it feels like I've done something. So this right here has been a fave for me. Now, let me just do a hair fave. You guys, I have been loving the main choice ombre um, glaze. Y'all. I'm going to have to do a video on how I've been doing my wash and go that has been la the last time I did it, it lasted 10 days. You heard me. 10 days. I didn't add no extra product. I didn't do nothing but... This and some water. Get your life. I'm telling you. Y'all. That's the bomb. Now, this right here, I'm going to eat a little crow. I'm going to eat a little crow. Because this is, the, this is the Danessa Myra Yummy Skin. I got it in the shade 9. When I first got this, I was like, what the heck is this? What am I supposed to do with this? And it do have like a menthol -y, medicated scent to it so i didn't like that either but it doesn't last but y'all when i tell you your girl's been wearing makeup but no makeup i've been doing a lot of no makeup makeup type looks very light super quick makeup like a for real five minute and out the door type makeup look right here this right here not only does it um it's it's nice and sheer and quick but it actually has some coverage to it and when you mix it with my fancy powder on top of it to set it. Girl, you better get out of my face. I'm telling you. She cute. I love it. 
Now, like I told y'all, I've been doing this quick makeup lately. And the Fashion Fair, their cream makeup um, foundation, I got Mellow Mocha. And y'all, I ain't playing no games. I'm telling you, I've been using the heck out of this. And I'm so mad I didn't get a backup when they had it on sale. You guys, if you're looking for something that is quick with some coverage, and this is one of my, out of all my foundations, one of the ones with the, it's like a perfect match. Like when I'm putting it on, you can't really even see that. It, like, I'm like, sometimes I feel like I overdo it because it blends in so well. My fave. It's been my fave. Again, we talking, I've been doing no makeup, makeup type looks. The Dior Concealer. And I have it in 7N. And you guys, this is basically my skin tone. I'm going to let you see. See? Of course, you know my hand is lighter than my face. It's basically my skin tone. And I'll just go up under the hot spots. You know, hit up under the eye, around the mouth, blend it out a little bit, and throw on some powder and go. Y'all. This right here. And it holds up so well to me. And then another thing I've been loving is this Natasha Denona Mini Brow um, Bronzer Palette, y'all. This is Bay right here. This is your everyday palette. And you could dress it up if you wanted to with this shade right here. But to me, it's not that, you know, you know, it's not giving a whole lot of sheen. Let me show you. You see what I'm saying? It still gives you more of an everyday type of um, sheen. Not sheen, but, you know, glow to it. But, y'all, I love this palette. And then I've also been using the uh, one size, the blush. What's what's the name of this one? Berry Gay. Y'all, you get the cream, you get a powder, and you get, like, a highlighter all in one. I love it. So when I'm rushing, I just grab it and I have all of the, all of it all right here. And I love this color on me. It's a very beautiful color. And then I have this Tom Ford mascara. I told you guys how much I like it. I, I've been grabbing for it. I've been, I'm going to be, I've been grabbing for this more than I've been grabbing for this or this. So y'all already know, right? Those that know, know. So, I'm loving this. And then, oh, y'all. I didn't even I didn't even know this was, this right here is the Merit. Let me see, so y'all can see. The Merit high, little stick highlighter. Like I told y'all, I've been doing a lot of just getting up and go. Look at that. Y'all, I just go whoop, whoop, like that. Blend it in. We good to go. I've been really enjoying this. I, I mean, I have, it's in my basket and I grab for it a lot. Now, the last two things I want to show you is basically from the same. This is, um, y'all know our girl Tara Lynn on YouTube. She did a collab with um, oh, Christian Arlette. And here's her lip gloss. And this is the lippy. Let me show y'all the lippy. And when I first saw the lippy, I was like, I don't know. But honey, this has become one of my faves. It goes in the purse. Do y'all see that? And see, I have pink lips, so it looks so good on me. And then I do a little bit of um, Pat McGrath ground control with it. She cute. She real cute. Like, she real cute. And then the lip gloss is cute, too. Hold on. I want y'all to see. There we go. It's, that, it's very much a peachy color. It was so beautiful for the spring and the summer. And I think I can get away with it with the fall, too, because with that ground control, that brown, it just makes it pop. But, you guys, I done held y'all for too long now. I done start swept up under these lights. So it's time for me to go. So let me know what has been your favorite product that you have been using put that in the comment section and you guys i missed y'all i'm back thank you for all the support all the love all the reaching out your girl is good and um that's it so to all my new subscribers i see you and i appreciate you and if you haven't subscribed yet girl hit that button so that i can save you a seat at the grown women's table and until the next video bye bye ladies